Thick snow has covered the ground, and the icy cold is almost unbearable for Borea's Filipino wife. In the last episode, we traveled from Armenia to Russia. We encountered several difficulties along the way, but in the end, we overcame them and finally, we arrived in my husband's village. The first few days in Russia were of little interest for me. We had been sick for several days and practically never left the house. We finally felt better, and today, we are going to the district center to buy knitting supplies for me. I want to try to master crochet. Before the trip, mom braids my hair, and Borya told that I look very cute with braids. In the district center, my husband suggested that we stop by at a coffee shop. Borya told me that this was his favorite place as a child. I replied that the cakes were delicious, and no wonder it was his favorite place. After enjoying the cake and the coffee, we went to the craft store. I was so excited to see yarn in different colors and told Borya it was now my favorite place. We went into a clothing store to buy a thinner hat for me because the weather was getting warmer. We also bought a towel and other things for me. Most of my clothes and things were left in Malaysia when I went to Armenia to be with Borya. Before we went home, we stopped by the market to show me about their local produce. We bought some fish, vegetables, and fruits. I told my husband that there are more fresh fish in the Philippines and many of them are in different colors. I love to eat fish and went fishing with my family sometimes as a child. As a foreigner, I am very interested in seeing local fruits and vegetables. I am very fond of apples and I like to eat them with salt. There are many different tropical fruits in the Philippines, but apples don't usually grow and are very special to Filipinos. So, I am looking forward to summer in Russia. When we return home, I watch some tutorials on YouTube. And soon, I needed myself a bright top for the summer. This yellow top is my first project. I am getting more and more into needlework and can now knit for hours without stopping. I often listen to podcasts while knitting. It has a therapeutic effect on me. It's amazing that not long ago, I didn't know how to hold the crochet hook properly. And now, I am already knitting in different patterns. One thing about me is that when I enjoy doing something, I become obsessed with it. I knit much faster now and can already make hats. I will wear them when we go to the beach. I am now addicted to knitting and asked my husband if we can buy more yarn in different colors. He replied, of course we will. He is glad that I found an interesting hobby for myself. And he is very proud of me. While we were dreaming about warm weather in the beach, it snowed again. I was a little upset. But Borya cheered me up and told me that we should be happy about it because it might be the last snow this winter. We can play with it some more. It's a sunny day today. The snow has recently melted and Boris' friend suggested we take a walk in the woods. It's still very cold, especially at the bottom of the gorge by the river we went down to. But that only seemed to bother the adults. The kids like to walk around and find something interesting near the river. I am more interested in plants and flowers that grow in the forest. Boris is glad that his wife likes nature. Everything is still new to me. The trees without leaves, the sad colors of the surrounding nature, and especially the cold. 
I dream of picking flowers in the wood in the spring, but it is still too cold for an abundance of flowers and today I saw only the first flower. Andrew's son gave me a pine cone, which I gladly showed my husband. The boy and I sometimes talk, even we didn't understand each other. We built a fire and stood around it for a while, hoping to get warm. Soon we realized that we could hardly get warm around the little fire. We headed home for tea before we said goodbye to our friends. I was glad to finally meet them in person. Winter is coming to an end. It was getting warmer outside. We decided to take a walk to the river near the house. But first, I look at the chickens outside with interest. I said to my husband that they are much bigger compared to the ones in the Philippines. Do you have crocodiles? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here don't have cr crocodiles. Near the river, I asked if there are crocodiles. Boya said no and I went on to tell him that in some parts of southern Philippines, there are crocodiles in the river. But I live in the northern part of the country, so as a child, I was not afraid to swim. Me and my sister climbed trees near the river and jumped into the water when we were young. I had a very interesting childhood. In the evening, we launched our drone and Boya showed me the view of the village from above. He said that it will be even more beautiful in the spring. The mountains surrounding the village will be bright green and the smell of the blooming flowers will be incredible. Today, we are going to Kasnadar for the birthday of one of Boris' friends. Me, as usual, immediately went up to the owner's cat and started playing with it. My husband's friend also gave us a gift, a bottle of wine and a crochet kit so I could crochet my own stuffed animal. I was thrilled with this gift. I had already told my husband that I wanted such a crochet set, and now I have one. We drank tea with delicious wild strawberry jam, chocolate, and cookies. We admired a view from the window of this apartment, and in the evening, we went to the restaurant to celebrate a birthday. We sat down at the table and enjoyed the delicious food and good conversation. In the next episode, we will see more interesting places. The Black Sea with a lot of cats, and hot spring with drinking mineral gallery, and an unusual modern park in Krasnodar.